How's it going, everybody? This is Aaron Price, the CEO of Tech United New Jersey, back for another live session. Today, talking about something extremely important. I know hospital systems, tech CEOs, educational institutions, all who've been victim to uh, cyber threats and breaches. And so today, very pleased to be joined by Mike Loudon, the Regional Vice President of Comcast Business, to share more about their threat report, their learnings, and what you can do to, uh, to prevent some of these attacks. Mike, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Hey, Aaron, great to be here and uh, certainly appreciate the partnership that we've had with you for 10 plus years. So uh, I know coming off of Propelify was a really great event and glad we participated there as well. So looking forward to this great conversation. I appreciate that. It's uh, there, there is certainly a, a high around the office, both in person and virtually around uh, the momentum around Propelify. So appreciate you guys being supportive and a part of it and and MCing, having Lou MC for, for part of the day. So really appreciate that. So let's jump right into this this threat report. Can you share with us, um, you know, insights around cybersecurity? I know you put out this cybersecurity threat report. What can our members and, and followers learn from this? Yeah, so very comprehensive report. The 2023 Comcast Business Cybersecurity Threat Report uh, published. Uh, you see the link there. It really provides a deeper understanding of the trends in, in cybersecurity threats. So, you know, Comcast Business manages a very large network customers across the country, nationally, internationally, you know, so all of those customers that we provide security for, this report shows that in 2022, almost 24 billion, I'll say it again, 24 billion hacking attempts uh, took place in, in, in this report. We'll really dig into the areas, the most common threats. You know, you look at things like phishing attempts, malware, DDoS attacks for distributed denial of service attacks for those that uh, don't know. So that's, there, there's some of the things you'll see in the report. You'll see some real live examples of, of how we uh, handle those cases. Um, so I'd recommend your audience and your um, uh, team really go in and take a look at the report. There's also a great video in there that two of our top security experts really dive into a lot of these areas. So I think it's uh, great knowledge for the for the base. So uh, what kinds of, you know, you mentioned the, the um, distributed denial of service attacks, the DDoS attacks often referred to in, in that way. What kinds of businesses are you seeing that are prime targets for those specific types of attacks? Yeah, that's a great question. So I think all businesses are really targets, right? Whether you're a small pizza shop all the way up to a, you know, a national, uh, international law firm. So, but the most common attacks that we see, and you'll see in this report, education is big, financials, healthcare, even IT companies are now becoming more and more targeted. Um, but I think, you know, the, the ones that are really at risk uh, that we're seeing in this report is our small business segment. So, you know, part of that, I think, is because, you know, you have a small business that may not have that in-house expertise or the resources to stay up with the latest threats. Um, so oftentimes they're focused on their business. Um, and, you know, a lot, of the, a lot of these things happening so quickly and change and evolve, you know, pretty much daily. So if you have a partner like Comcast Business that can provide you the latest and greatest tools, you run your business, you run your restaurant, We'll take care of the security and make sure that your business is not attacked. And so what on that point, right? What specific solutions does Comcast business um, offer for the various market segments? You know, this isn't just for the sophisticated tech company. It is for the, right. the you know, as you mentioned, like local retailers. What sorts of solutions uh, does Comcast business offer? Yeah. So the great thing about this, this product set is really depending on the size, the scope, the needs of the of the client, you know, we offer everything. Probably about a year, two years ago, we started um, packaging up for all our internet customers uh, a, a service called Security Edge, which really is the first line of defense. So if you're a Comcast business customer, we bundle this security feature into your uh, internet connection. So really to, to stop a lot of the things we've already talked about. So the DDoS attacks, the uh, scans, uh, you know, some of the uh, malware that they're trying to attach, all of those things that are coming at companies fast and furious, that security edge will help uh, prevent and stop. Uh, manage firewall services. So having 
you know, that first line of defense as well for some larger institutions to provide managed firewall, configuration, all of that. Secure remote access is another area. So with COVID and with remote workers, um, you know, we see a lot of businesses where a lot of their employees are remote, some are in the office. So you now have to manage two sets of solutions and making sure that that remote access coming in is, is secure, whether it's done via VPN or other means. Um, DDoS mitigation. So we talk about a company getting attacked. Um, what do we do? What does a company do when they are attacked or when their internet connection is down? They can't run their business. So we have mitigation services that will help the business get back on their feet. Uh, managed endpoint detection and response. So, you know, managing, there's so many devices that are now connected to a network with, you know, iPads and iPhones and all these other devices with Wi Fi and public Wi Fi and private. You know, making sure that you know where all those devices are and if they're up to date from a security perspective. We'll also come into a company, large or small, with a vulnerability scanning. So taking a look and kind of doing a, a test on your network to see where you may be vulnerable, give you a report and say, here are the recommendations that we have. And then lastly, manage detection, manage detection and response. So we have a full, um, complete service that will take, take on the management of all your devices and then really provide customized reporting, um, you know, if there are breaches, how do we react, all those things. So we've got some great security experts in the organization um, that have done this for many years and they're on top of the latest and greatest. So a lot to offer. It sounds like a pretty robust suite of services there. Are, you know, how can small and medium sized businesses enhance their cybersecurity position? Is it, is it simply, you know, leveraging those types of services or are there other things that, uh, that they can implement? Yeah, I think it's a I think it's a combination, Aaron. I think, but education and awareness is key, right? So having your employees, having them understand the implications of you know potentially getting an email that they don't know who that uh, sender is, and they actually click on the attachment or they get a, a text message and they do do something like that. There's an example in the report for a uh, a healthcare company where a, a cyber attacker targeted uh, a payroll manager and basically was able to send a send an email. The individual opened the attachment. So that attachment allowed remote access into this uh, payroll organization or payroll company. Um, and then what happened from there, they sat on the network for a few months watching when payroll was distributed. And then finally they picked that day where they redirected the payroll on that certain day. And all of the, obviously uh, the, the, the impact of losing your payroll almost brought this company down. and. You know, they were very lucky to survive that 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 threat. But um, there are some of the things that can happen. You, you could feel secure, but if your employees aren't educated, you're only as, as safe as your weakest link. And in some cases, it's more about education. But I'll get into having a security policy. Right. So every company should have a standard security policy for the network connections, for the employees. So, social engineering is big. Right. So, you know, companies, hackers calling into businesses, acting like they're calling for from the help desk or, hey, I need your credentials. You know, some someone gives that out, then again, they're exposed. We talked about phishing attempts, password and device management. So there's so many devices on the network, making sure that if an employee leaves or they swap out a device, what are we doing to keep inventory on those devices and your passwords? Obviously having uh, having strong passwords is is, you know, really the table stakes there. And then having a policy and an incident response plan. If something does happen in your business, what is your approach to mitigating that that um, breach and how do you get your company back online? Um, they're the kind of things that businesses should be thinking about. And again, Comcast Business will come in, do an evaluation, um, try and understand what your needs are and, and develop a customized solution that can fit a business's needs, whether they're large or small. So you know, bad actors, unfortunately, can evolve and innovate rather quickly. Um, are there any innovations or additions recently to this suite and to some of the cybersecurity solutions that you can share about how Comcast is staying ahead of the game on uh, on some of these attacks? Yeah, I think, you know, the, the, the one thing about Comcast business, it's very innovative, right? We're always looking down the road. We're always looking at, at the next best best thing. So the internet of things you've probably heard, right? So there's a lot of devices that we can now connect to the internet to get real time data. You know, we have a partner, a company called Machine Q that is a Comcast company, and their focus is really on machine learning and AI. 
and really developing customized solutions for our customers. So on top of all the things we talk about today, like if your business, think digital food safety, you know, staff security alerts, if there are issues or concerns within the company, asset inventory tracking. So, you know, you have a company where they're giving out a lot of hardware, having the ability to track those assets coming and going, uh, door opening and closing, monitoring of that, uh, smart restrooms, utility monitoring, you know, leak detection. So we're working with a lot of utilities where, they're, they're, you know, everything changes so quickly. And the good news is with some of our internal partners, we're able to keep ahead and really provide solutions that go beyond the, tr the traditional, you know, telecom services that you would think of from a Comcast business. For people who, who hear about this and they want to learn more about what this even means, perhaps even that, that small retailer who didn't realize that, you know, he or she may be as vulnerable, um, you know, to these sorts of things as, as they thought. What sorts of resources are available from Comcast to, to learn more about the cybersecurity knowledge and, and best practices? Yeah, I would say, you know, go to our website, right? Business.comcast.com backslash community really provides a lot of these white papers and, and presentations and, you know, what the latest is and what's happening from a trend perspective. You'll get a lot of information there, but we also have an organization, my organization would be happy to come out and we do it every day, sit down with your business and really understand what your business is, how it runs, and develop a customized solution for you depending on your needs. So not only that, but really looking looking at the industry and keeping up with that, uh, we certainly have a lot of options if you go to that website. And then really, if you wanna take the next step is really set up a plan with uh, your local Comcast business uh, employee to really dive in and really customize that solution. And are there any upcoming you know, live events, webinars, workshops, training materials that, uh, that Comcast offers related to cybersecurity? Yeah, and you mentioned it earlier, you know, the, the, the Propelify where you kind of have certain events like that. We have similar events. We're hosting, you know, at our uh, headquarters, a lot of events and comes around security and other topics. Um, but I would, I would really take uh, advantage of social media and following us on Comcast Business on social where we post all of the upcoming events that we're involved in. And a lot of them are virtual, a lot of them are face-to-face. -face. And then even if you wanted to have a, have an outreach by one of us, go to social media, you know, provide that feedback and we'll set up an appointment to really come in and uh, see how we can help your organization grow and stay secure. If people respond via social, a real person will actually get the message and, and get in touch? Yes, absolutely. And <laughs> wor worst case, you have my information, uh, Lou Parisi's information. So, you know, we're definitely out there. We're proactive in, you know, out with customers and uh, that's what we do every day. So we yeah. certainly will take that. Certainly if there are folks in our uh, community who are interested in in, uh, in connecting, just reach out to us and we'll make sure you, uh, you get to the right place. Um, so Mike, as you know, we do a lot of high fives in the, or you may or may not know, we do a lot of high fives in the Propel Fine Tech and Eddie community. Where, where are you physically uh, joining us from today? So physically joining you from Aston, PA, Delaware County, right outside the city of Philadelphia. We have a we have a branch office here, so that's where I'm at. Excellent. Well, I'm in Hoboken, New Jersey. We'll end with the high five. So on the count of three, high five the camera with me. One, two, three. Boom. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Make sure you check out techunited.co slash report for that cybersecurity report. Business.comcast.com slash community. If I remembered that correctly, did I get that right, Mike? You got it. Yep. Excellent. Check out uh, more resources there. Really appreciate all that you guys have done for, for as you said, many, many years to be uh, a supportive member of the Tech United community. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in person again real soon. Absolutely, Aaron. Thank you. Thank appreciate you. It.